Not far to go now. Not gonna get any signal up in these mountains. stores. Want to hear one? Well, so when I was a kid, my grandpa used to take me and my cousin up here. And we'd go skiing and fishing, you know, all that kind of stuff, but he would always warn us to not drive far away from the group, or else the bloody bride would get us. Me being a kid and all, I naturally had to ask who that was. So, he tells me. About 70 years ago or so, there was this young couple, not much older than all of us are now. They fell in love and got married right here on this mountain, but when it came for them to leave on their honeymoon, they were nowhere to be found. But, and that's not the messed up part. When my grandpa was a boy, he said he saw her. When his dad, my great-grandfather, used to come up here, they'd leave super early in the morning, get the best spot on the lake. It was pitch black out. As they're driving, his dad could see some kind of white figure up ahead on the road. And he nudges Grandpa to see if his eyes are playing tricks on him, and he says, he can see it too. So they get closer, and they pass her by. Yeah, that's right. It was a woman in a wedding dress. So my Grandpa and his dad are just entirely spooked. As they pass her by, she doesn't move, doesn't say anything. They look in the rearview mirror, and she's gone. Nowhere to be seen. Pretty freaky, huh? And there's something I need to tell you. It just sounds weird to say, but uh, my mom died. I haven't told anyone, not even Becca. Not too clear on the details exactly. They, they found her body. It was natural causes, I guess. It's all over with now. Finally. We made good time. Yeah. Oh, Captain, my Captain. No! Get it later. We got enough to hear. Sir, what's wrong? Why'd you stop? I saw. I know. I know. I'm gonna go check and see if there's any firewood left. All. Do you need any help? No, I should be fine. I'll meet you at the condo. Okay.
Got myself a cat, killed her with a bat, threw her in a pot, made sure the water's hot, eating pussy cat stew. Wait. You're not supposed to be here. Why? This is exactly what they want. Who? <laughs> the ones who believe. How long does it take to go look for some wood? Do you want Eric to go help Seth? I think I'll stay right here if that's okay. Come on. Well, what brings such uh, bright young people all the way up here this time of year? Vacation. Oh, I see. Whereabouts are you from? Los Angeles. Oh. Do you know any famous movie stars? Oh, I just love that Boris Karloff. All those scary movies. Just give me the willies. Am I right, Papa? Right you are, Mama. Although, I don't believe I've seen him in anything recent. Well, Becca's an actress, so... We've got a genuine movie star staying with us, Papa. Well, not exactly. I... I will have none of that back talk, young lady. Why are you all just standing out here in the cold? Because we don't have a key. Papa, let him in. Yes, Mama. Oh, uh, cool. You guys are the managers? Uh. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, thanks. Oh my, um, where are my manners? I am Patricia White. This is my husband, Patrick White. Uh, most folks around here just call us the Paps. Am I right, Papa? Right you are, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke. Well, thanks. Will we be seeing you in church on Sunday? <laughs> oh, I'm an atheist. Exactly. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, I'm just... What she means is... Becca, hey, I can talk for myself. Thank you. Look, I'm not embarrassed, okay? I'm not ashamed of it. I don't believe in God. I'm, uh... I'm out and I'm proud. Just to think. You could have made it so easy on yourself. Good day. Easier on yourselves, though. Didn't have to read to the atheists right up. These mountain folk are strange. I think it's colder in here than it is outside. Oh, you all made it in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? What's with all the old videotapes? Oh, those? <laughs> They're just a bunch of old home movies. Special. But old home movies are the most specialist things in the whole wide world. <sighs> Guys, no, seriously, I think we should run a videotape the rest of the weekend. That way we can turn on the TV at any point and check in and see what little <laughs> Seth is doing. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Seth, do you want to go upstairs and unpack? I think you can handle the luggage from here. There's only one thing you want to be doing this weekend. I don't feel like it right now. Oh, no. Why not? It's not in the mood, all right? Can you drop it, please? Something fine. 
Everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. I know, Seth. You know what? About your mom. I heard you tell her to get a car. You were spying on me. No, but why didn't you tell me before? My personal life is none of your business. Yeah, she wanted to take care of him by herself after all. Back at the control, please. <sighs> right. You know, I actually wouldn't mind seeing what's on those old tapes. Yes. <sighs> There's a lot of family fun going on right there. I said turn it off! Okay, fine! Seth, what is your problem? Who is that? I'm 
sir, too. <laughs> yep. Is it just a game to you? What? What do you mean? <laughs> so he's gonna leave alone, could you? Just wondering, have you ever been honest in your entire life? I don't know what to say, Mallory. There's nothing you can say. No, I know what I want to say. Fucking bitch. I don't know what it is with people who refuse to understand that there are questions that they just don't need to know the answer to. Look at me. Let go of me. You are hurting me. Let me go. That is it. We are done. Rebecca Vineyard, and I'm reading for the role of Mallory. Uh, hey, what are you doing? Just some acting exercises. <gasps> cool. Um, I don't really want to go back to sleep. Do you maybe want to go outside and go for a walk with me? Sure. Great. I just have to, um, I have to, I have to use the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, where all the atheists come from, apparently. Hey, so you want to go build a snowman? Or... <laughs> so I got some big news. Oh, yeah? What? Yeah, it's huge. What? Seth told me his mom died like last week. Well, he didn't exactly tell me. I sort of overheard him telling Eric in the car. What happened? I don't know. He won't talk to me anymore. Mm -hmm. 
I have so much I need to tell him, but I just don't know how. Hey, stop! What did he say? You need to leave. Listen to me, you creepy fuck. Don't touch them. I don't want to hurt you. You just need to leave. Leave this place. And go forward. You okay? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go back to the condo. Are you guys coming with? Going back to the condo, but do you mind if you leave Seth up here with me? Protect me from the creepy lumberjack? Sure. <laughs> So glad we came up here. I love this place. I remember all these being here before. You know, I guess I just want to know why you've been acting so goddamn weird lately. What do you mean? I mean, that video, the freak out. Who was it? It was my mom. Wow. Yeah, she, uh... No, I, I know. How? Um... Becca said something. <sighs> what the fuck? Is there nothing that's immune to her gossip? Hey, stop! Listen, Becca loves you, okay? She loves you with every part of her being, and you've done nothing but treat her like an asshole. I know. But I don't love her anymore. No. No, absolutely not. We are not doing this. Did Eric do this to you? No. I know he hurts you. I'm fine. Just stop. I don't know. The sun's down. Yeah? You know it's a disease, Mallory. I need your help. It's enough bullshit, Eric. It's too late. I know. I'm sorry. You lied. I did. Hey. <laughs> I've only been using for a couple days. When I passed a year, I don't know why this even popped into my head, but it seemed like the perfect time to celebrate. So I had a drink. But I swear, all that's in that flask, it's all I have. for even now. <laughs> We're even? You're not the only one that fell off the wagon.
You really need to put a bandage on that. You're in a good mood. I am. So what's Seth have to say? I don't know. We didn't really get a chance to talk. And what were you doing out there? Hey. Where have you been? Oh, you know, out. Did you have fun? What? I asked if you had fun. Sure. Are you hungry? Uh huh. You going out again? Yeah, I gotta clear my head. What the fuck, Seth?
You know, I mean, everything vanishes. Is it the door? Who is it? Shit, what do I do? Lock the door!
Rebecca? What? Rebecca, please help me. What's wrong? Mallory? Mallory? What are you doing? <laughs> Mallory? Hello again, Sam. How are you here? What do you mean? You're dead. Nothing was ever good enough for you, was it? Seth, there's something wrong with Mallory. What are you doing? Oh God, she's still alive? I don't know. Move. Come on, Mallory, wake up. Open your eyes. She's burning up. Call an ambulance. Hello? It doesn't work. What? It doesn't work. We've got to try something else. There's people from earlier. The Pats. Maybe they could get us some help. You can go. What are you doing? Eric, something happened to Mallory. I know. Eric, she needs a doctor. Go outside and choke yourself until you pass out. It's gonna have to come off. You were losing a lot of blood. I had to find a way to stop it. I, I woke up outside and Eric was gone and you were just sitting there. And we had the fire from the stove. I couldn't find your hand. I'm so sorry. Oh, I knew this would happen. What? Eric. I knew he would hurt me. How? Oh, it's my fault. He's an alcoholic. They manipulate people and they're very good at no, it. No, 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 no. You're not no. thinking straight at all. Look, just relax. I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna figure out how to get you out of here, okay? Becca! Up here. 
couldn't find him anywhere. Okay, then we're leaving. Becca, I told you I can't find my keys. The car isn't going anywhere unless you know to hotwire it. Then we're fucking walking out of here, but Mallory needs to get to a hospital. That's the dumbest thing you could possibly do right now. You both would die out there in this cold. I would rather die out there than in here with you. You're out of your fucking mind. Do whatever the fuck you want. Fuck you! Why are you so sad? Everything is wrong. We were all okay until we came here. There certainly is something peculiar about this place. Why did Seth say you were dead? Well, to be honest, it's kind of a complicated matter. It's something I'm gonna have to show you. Out in the woods. Do you want to see it? I'm not going anywhere. I can't leave Mallory. We'll be fine. <laughs> you need to stay in bed. I can take care of myself. I'm not going to leave you. Becca, you need to go find out what the hell has been going on with Seth. I will be fine. <laughs>
Holy shit. Seth, Seth, we go. What happened? Hello? Is anybody there? Seth, wake up. Wake up. Got a problem. Please, please don't. I know, baby. I know. I'm a monster. I'm evil. I'm gonna kill you and eat your insides. Just get me out here to die. But I don't deserve you. Eric, get up. Thank you. What? It's women like you who make honest, decent men struggle every day to keep it together. I've been told that I was wrong all my life. I can't do anything right. I'm a human. I have my flaws. I'm tired of living my life this way. It's because of you I live this way. Living in fear of you! Hello, little bird. Where are we? I don't know. Am I dead? I don't think so. Are you dead? I did hurt you though, Mallory. Can't you see that? It's what I do. The people I love. It's my special power. But I forgive you. You can't think about me. I'm running out of time. You're going to wake up soon. You need to be strong. Strong for what? It's bad. I just need to remember to be strong, okay? Okay. Please don't cry. I know where I'm going now. That's all I ever remember. You are going to the greatest thing in this world. Please don't. It's 
better this way. Will I see you again? I don't know. Our little atheist is finally awoken. Please, please, please let me go. Now is the time for repentance. For you to ask for forgiveness. So the Lord should show his light upon you and let you into his blessed kingdom. They shall be reigned upon with the righteous glory of God. Amen. Amen. We live in fearful times, believers. Fornications, faggots. Rapists and abortioneers. Definitely some scary stuff going on here. Am I right, Papa? Right you are, Mama. God has given us so many wonderful things. He created this beautiful planet for us, given us light and shelter and each other. Praise be. But there are some people in this world who don't even believe he exists. It's not a shame. Well, I got news for you. God is real. And God is here. Right now. All around us. And those that don't realize that will come to know the true meaning of terror and fear. Wait, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Yes. How do you know? I thought you were on birth control. Shut up! I don't care. You got a baby squirrel growing out the side of your head. Nothing can stop that, which has been set in motion for thousands of years. Certainly not you. And certainly not a child born of sin. Anoint the chosen papa! Did it work? I don't know.
are my believers. Peculiar. Sorry, Lord. It's the best we could do. It is of no particular matter. Tell me, did you prepare my final tribute? Uh, goddess, what tribute? She's... She's dead. You killed her! Do it. It would please me to see more death. Hollowed out husk was your friend, wasn't it? Mallory, please. Answer me. Yes? Mallory, let's go home. And you lost it after it. Disgusting. That's what fear tastes like. So seldom do my lips taste such a fulgence. It's amusing when I think about it. How many lives I've taken, many forms I've inhabited, long I've lived. So rarely do I get an actual mouth. Fear comes off you in these putrid, stinking waves, not unlike love. I can see it, I can smell it, and I absorb it, all of it. And now I know, it's in your blood. Get on your knees and make me your god. I am incomplete. The shell is not enough. Do you wish to leave? Yes. Both of you together. And I need you to do something for me. I require the heart of a man. A heart of complete darkness. Devoid of emotion. Love. Compassion. I will consume its flesh to become complete. Speak. Okay. You have until dawn. What do we do now? I don't know. What happened to her? I don't know. She's possessed her. How do you know? I took a test. Here? Yes. Well, then it could be wrong. What? 
This place, nothing good happens here. Nothing is right here. I can feel it, Seth, growing inside of me. None of this is real. It can't be. It's a nightmare. There must be Stop some... Stop it, Seth. You're scaring me. You're not already scared? She's never gonna let us leave you. Unless we do what she says. There aren't even any other people up here besides us. I tried to help her. I tried. I tried. I tried. Do you think he's in there? Yeah. So how are we gonna do this? You're just gonna leave me here? Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from you. After all, you did this to me. No, I... Say it! I killed you. What? I said I killed her. Well, that's the first time in your life you've ever been honest with yourself. I don't understand. It's very simple, Rebecca. You know that big suitcase I brought up here? I chopped her up, put her pieces in it, and buried her right in the woodshed. And she's standing right here in front of us? More or less. She was terrible to me, Becca. Never let me feel alive or that I deserved anything. Deserved you. But you only needed me. The boy's best friend. Is no, his... no more. Get away from me. I don't need you anymore. But I forgive you, Seth. You do? Of course. You're my son. We belong together. Now come give mommy a hug. Okay. Away from the axe. What are you doing here? I come for you. Please don't kill my son. No. Oh no. Wait. Don't go. Stay away from me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stand at this room. I gave him my heart, but it wouldn't give me his. So I took it. I am pleased. Can I go now?
It's okay, little bird. We can be dead together. Okay.